guys, welcome back to Raise Trains. Well, this week I'm continuing with my kind of, we'll call it the winter catch-up series. <laughs> Just going over stuff I never made videos on. And uh, I realized I never made a video on my trip to Trainland. Um, I, I made it to Trainland this summer. And that was very cool. Of course, Trainland is the physical store of Train World. Um, I'm sure most of you know that. Uh, it's in Lynbrook uh, on Long Island. And it's pretty close to uh, Belmont Park for the New Yorkers who know what that is. <laughs> and uh, it was very cool to see where Bobby got shot in The Sopranos. Uh, it was surreal being in there as a big Sopranos fan. And... Uh, the space was a lot smaller than I <laughs> than I uh, thought it would be, but it makes sense. It's being in the the city on the island. It's there's just not going to be like these massive stores there. But um, yeah, it was it was great, and I realized I bought quite a few things. <laughs> Some things I've even went over them already. Uh, this is just going to be the stuff I didn't cover, and. Uh, I bought a lot of Train World exclusives, I realized, too. Um, so we'll we'll start off here. This was the Long Island Bay Window Caboose, which I don't think I've ever even showed off here. Uh, this is an MTH uh, Train World exclusive. And these are some funky-looking colors on this sucker. <laughs> Look at this. Orange, yellow, and blue. Uh, with, of course, Long Island painted in white on each side. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. It's, it's weird. <laughs> but uh, this being scale, it's really nice, really heavy, and lights up. So we'll get close-ups of all this. So that was the first... That was my first item. And the second... What, what is this? Okay, yeah. So this is the Rail, uh, Rail King... Canadian National Cylindrical Hopper. Now, I know I mentioned I'm switching more towards scale, but this, some things still kind of work, even if they're not scale. Like, to me, this still works. Really, when I say I don't want non-scale cars, I'm really talking about standard box cars. <laughs> I think standard box cars on my layout look really bad. They just look off. Whereas this, I you can get away with it because... It's kind of a little, about the same size as my, uh, some of my tankers. And just, it just doesn't look as weird as a, as a standard box car. But this I got because it was on sale for very cheap. Um, I think this was like under 50 bucks. <laughs> and, uh, it's got, it's the rainbow edition of the, uh, CN cylindrical hopper I, th I think it looks awesome so I picked that up because the price was so low and then uh, the last thing I got while I was there and I was looking for this um, yeah this is another husky stack which you guys have seen this one a lot run but I never really talked about where I got it so this was a CSX uh, husky stack with graffiti on it and this is my favorite one they look awesome so yeah and then I realized uh, when I was doing this video I was like oh it's just those three but I've already made a video on this I actually got uh, the crane and the junk load car um, I won't really show these off but just to remind everybody this was a train world exclusive uh, this was the MTH cranes that came out this summer. And it's New York Transit Authority. And then it looks awesome. This is, this is my favorite one, I think. And uh, comes with, uh, well, it didn't come with, but it, the guy, of course, he was a good salesman. He's like, hey, I've got, you know what look great with that? I have the matching uh, junk, junk car. <laughs> So, and I've showed this off, so I, but I just want to remind everyone, this was my haul for one day at 
train land. So yeah, very happy with those purchases. Uh, train land was awesome. I want to go back uh, sometime. I think I think I'm gonna go back in store when they get those Metro North Atlas uh, Comet passenger cars in there. So yeah, uh, I know some of you too. We've we I've said like yeah, next time I go, I'm supposed to tell like a bunch of different people, and we can meet there. <laughs> so maybe maybe I'll do that. Um, meet up with some people next time we I go to train train land. I keep calling it train world. So yeah, we'll get uh, let's get close ups of these and we'll run them and yeah, definitely recommend going to to train train land the physical store if you've never been it's it's cool. All right, I just wanted to, I, I was going to make a whole video on this, but it's pointless because I didn't make a video of me like putting them up because I just, I always need to listen to podcasts when I'm working. And since I film with my iPhone, <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. So there, there really wasn't much to it. There's actually a bunch of good YouTube videos on this of people basically giving you how to's on how to do this. Um, I wouldn't be good at that. It would be more of a comedy show. However, I did get them up, and uh, I think they look really good. Uh, I used, I only used three screws. Uh, I found the studs and marked everything out, and uh, there's three screws in each of these uh, six-foot shelves. And they're sturdy. I, I feel good about it. Um, <laughs> I don't ever have enough engines right now to like put engines on there and i don't know how i'd feel about it <laughs> again they're they're extremely sturdy but i just there's no reason for me to put my beautiful sd90 like on that top shelf there's just it's always going to be on the layout or uh you know i got like this other thing i just throw bigger stuff on <laughs> um <clears throat> so yeah uh the only thing i was a little disappointed in I didn't realize with all my scale stuff, not a whole lot fit on here, which was a bummer. <laughs> but that just means I gotta buy more, I guess. I need more. I'd like to get another four. Every time I go to York, if they're there, I'll pick up four. So I think I could fit another four in here, over there, and then another four over here. So I could probably fit like eight more of these. But yeah, these are the Glenn Snyder uh, display shelves with the track on there and it definitely cool i recommend it all right first up's the uh, caboose i think my buddy aiden made me laugh he goes oh that was certainly a choice <laughs> but yeah uh, i don't know it just was funky I, they actually have um trailer on flat cars with two pup trailers with these this color, like one blue, one orange. I'd love to get that to go with this. I think that would look cool. Because then it will, won't be as weird just having this strange looking car alone on my layout. <laughs> but yeah, MTH did a good job with this one on the paint and uh, really good detail. I don't have any scale cabooses. I have the bobber, Lehigh Valley bobber, but this is my only caboose. So, um, yeah, really cool. All right, now the CN uh, cylindrical uh, hopper. Uh, you guys know what I want to go to match with this? Um, Menards has, it's not a cylindrical hopper, it's a regular hopper. But Menards has a CN rainbow hopper as well. I'd love to get that because it would fit with this really nicely. Um, it's it's really it's only like twenty bucks or twenty or thirty. I don't know. It's it's very cheap on Menards, but I don't 
I'd like to find it at York and just buy it there. Or uh, really, I'd like to go, like physically go to a Menards. That, that's the ultimate. But yeah, I'd love to get that car to go with this uh, great looking Rail King hopper. Um, yeah, I think these are still on sale on Train uh, Train World right now. If you go, they're really cheap. So check that out if you're if you're interested. Okay, and now here's the Lionel Husky stack. I may have shown this one off when I was complaining about the Atlas uh, Huskies um, that they were all in pieces. I may have shown this off and been like. Lionels were all together, <laughs> but if not, whatever, it's part of the haul, so I'll show it off. Um, love, Lionel does such a great job with the graffiti, and I'm pumped to check out the weathered uh, covered hoppers that were in the catalog this year, because uh, I think they're going to kill it with those two. <laughs> just think they do a great job. And even though, again, I've shown them off, since it was part of the Trainland haul, I'll show off the crane and the junk car, too. All right, I've already made a video about these cranes, so I won't talk much about them, but they look great together. This was genius by Train World. And I, I talked about this when I made the video on the cranes. MTH should have made all the junk cars to match all of the cranes they made, and they didn't. Um, it's really just this exclusive. And then I believe there's a Jersey Central red crane, and I believe they made a junk car for Jersey Central. But I think that was it. All of them didn't match. They really should have, they should have matched them all because these look great together. The Mantis. <laughs> Little praying Mantis here too. Great detail here. So yeah, that was my haul from Trainland. Um, so hopefully uh, I'll go back someday and maybe meet up with you guys. So I will uh, run, run some of these now and uh, you guys can stick around if you want. So uh, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.